Hi and welcome to this video lecture on the topic of steady state conduction from the subject of heat transfer. Now what do you understand or what do you mean by steady state conduction? As you all know that conduction is a process of heat transfer in which two substances are at different temperatures but are in physical contact. Okay, They are bearing direct physical contact between them. Now, with the word steady state, we means that the temperature is not varying with respect to time. This means that the heat flux remains unchanged with time during the steady state heat transfer process through a medium at any location. This means, if we have to summarize it, that temperature variation in a medium is time independent. It does not vary with respect to time. Okay. For example, uh, heat transfer through the walls of a house will be a steady state heat transfer or a steady state conduction when the conditions inside the house and the outdoors they remain constant for several hours means as the time progresses the condition inside and outside are not changing okay at that time the heat transfer through the walls of the house will be termed as steady state heat conduction okay now moving ahead uh, on the other hand we also have a term which we call transient heat transfer okay so as in steady state the temperature variation was time independent in transient heat transfer the conditions change with respect to time this means everything is a function of time so during such processes temperature and heat flux normally vary with time as well as in position okay so you have spatial variation as well as well as time variation so I would write it down here that temperature is a function of time as well as space okay whereas in heat uh, steady state uh, the time independency was there okay so normally or in certain cases the variation is with respect to time and we do not consider the variation with respect to the position so when you have these kind of heat transfer systems these kind of heat transfer systems are what we called or what we call lumped systems which on which we will do the lumped heat transfer uh, heat transfer analysis in the coming slides of this video okay so when the dependency is only on time and not on space then it becomes a transient heat transfer of a lumped system